Welcome to Family Gamer TV. We're looking at a new product that's just in Kickstarter called Tio, T I O. And as you can see, it's a sort of unusual block robot sort of invention. We've got the creators, Peter Spence um, and co founder Mario Morello of Tio, T I O, to talk to us today. So, could you tell us a bit more about what this product is? Why is it so special? Okay, so Tio is the first motorized building block. That, can, that makes anything smart and connected. Um, and with this building block, anyone can create, animate, or program their toys, gadgets, 3D prints, and more using their smartphone or tablet. So imagine you could 3D print anything, attach these blocks with quick magnets, and then actually start driving it around, programming it, making it move. Um, that's, that's with 3D prints. With toys, you can either use your existing toys or no, new toys, put on the block, Add a flaming thing to your Buzz Lightyear, make get it moving, change the colour. Um, so yeah, you can basically reinvent your existing toys, animate your 3D prints and gadgets. So a nice example with the gadget would be quickly putting two blocks onto a GoPro. You can actually drive it around to take footage from the, from different angles, or actually rotate the GoPro in two different axes. So there's so much possibilities, and we've just kind of scratched the surface uh, with what this technology can do. Yeah, nice. So. Um Mario, maybe you could expand on a bit. Is, th is this something completely new? Has, it, it feels like this sort of tech's been around before. Has it not been used in this way? Not in this way. The ease of use uh, and uh, the intuitiveness of what we have created allows it to be used by kids as young as three years of age and adults as old at 86 years of, of age. There is no need for any screws, uh, any knowledge of electronics, nor engineering. Uh, it's uh, just extremely easy and it's extremely adaptable. You can uh, literally combine it with any objects and any material you can find around you uh, on top of toys, gadgets and 3D prints to create uh, completely new tech-enabled um, toys or inventions. Um, so it is uh, the application of it is extremely new and it really opens up to non-technical people, something that previously was only available to people that uh, knew about electronics and engineering. So it really opens the doors to endless opportunities uh, and uh, it really allows anyone to bring their imagination to life, uh, to life in minutes, if not seconds, depending on the objects you pick. Nice. And that, the thing that struck me, I, I saw about it and then I was watching the video, and I wasn't expecting it to be so easy to attach to things. It seems like you've got some clever sort of magnets or something, so you can clip it onto card and paper and that that to me was a big seller yeah so we've got um, uh, magnetic mounts and they come as either individual or dual mounts um, they these either work with our templates or with a 3d print you design in so you can very quickly just put the mount on and snap the block on in literally less than a second um, with other materials whether it be card or if you're reinventing your toys we supply a number of sticky tabs which you basically put onto the back of the magnetic mount and then you can attach that mount to, to almost anything. Nice. And so, obviously, once you've got the blocks attached and set up, then you use your smartphone to control it. And from the video, we see that you can control both the colours and the movement. But there, again, there seems to be some clever stuff where you're sort of chaining the blocks together, so it makes it easier to steer and stuff like that. Yeah, I think one of the main unique features of Tia is that we have these multiple completely wireless blocks that you can use completely independent to each other in one space. You could have four, eight more blocks in one room, all controlled from a single device. And um, what's really nice about the, the app interface, it's all touch and kind of drag and drop. Another really nice feature here is that we can actually program them by saving your live action, uh, recording it, and then playing it back. And you can basically make your own little programming blocks, which you can then sequence. So imagine you've got a GoPro and you want to film something and you want to hold the camera, a different camera separately you can basically record driving the GoPro along, save it, go into the programming mode, play it back, and you'll move along the desk with, you, with a single tap on the, on the app, which uh, that kind of opens up a lot of features to just moving beyond play as well. That sounds good. So you've got the Kickstarter live. We'll pop a link in the show notes so people can go, can go and find that. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, we hear a lot about the Internet of Things, which, as you, you said before, is, is an anagram. Um, of TO, TIO, the diagram of um, IOT. And, but here I think we're seeing something which takes that idea and actually makes it something exciting and interesting to family. So we'll certainly be tracking with it. So thanks for your time, it's really good. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for having much. us.